These are again the 16 cell blocks and uh, let's take a few minutes and assemble a 12 volt battery that'll be 4P and 4S. You can see how these are divided. Let's start with the bottom and I'm going to switch this color of the cells just to make it easy to see. You see here I switch polarity because we've got four in parallel and four in series. So now we've got eight cells. Let's switch back to the green. You see I've got the positives up here. Switch back to the reds. Okay, now we'll find the tabs. We'll go ahead and unline these up and put this all together. You know, they pretty well stay there because the magnets hold them. And I got to push up on the bottom a little bit, line everything up. And there we go. Okay, I'm looking down here. I see these magnets aren't quite lined up with the hole. See how this one's further over? So it's easy just to slide it. That lined it up. This one needs to be slid this way a little bit. These don't have, these don't have to be aligned perfectly. They just have to be aligned well enough. Okay. This one's a little bit off. There we go. Okay, now if we want, we can check the voltage right here. We've got the whole thing assembled. By the way, if you start feeling these things getting hot, you've put it together wrong. Take it apart real quick. Just, just rip the top off, pull the top off, and check your connections. All right, let's take a look at the voltage here. And what have we got? We got 14 volts. So that's great. It's assembled correctly. I like to label it just so uh, with a felt pen once I've got it assembled we saw this was the positive terminal this was the negative terminal that means that this is going to be negative this is going to be plus and turning it over this is going to be negative this is going to be plus this is going to be negative this is going to be plus because the um, cell loggers or the BMS or the hobby chargers need to monitor the positive terminals, this will tell us where to put the rings. Okay, so because we, we need to uh, put a, a power terminal, one of these big guys, and a sensor terminal over here on the positive of the battery. Okay, and then we're going to span this gap, and we use a wide washer for that. This is the negative terminal. It does not get any um, co ter connectors. This, these two are positive, so this one does. So we're going to put a, a terminal on it. And here's the gap spanning, so we use this wide washer here. And here's a negative terminal of the battery. And the negative terminal will always have a wire coming off it and it also has a power coming off it. So, there's the negative terminal of the battery with a power and a wire. Okay, so let's take a look, let's take a look at the back side. Um, I'm just, can we see this, here we go. Here's a negative terminal, nothing goes on here, just a washer and a nut. And this is the other, uh, the same set. Here's a positive terminal, oops, positive terminal. I should have put a ring there. Let me get this off. Positive terminal. So we put a ring here. Put the washer on top. And we're spanning this gap. So we use a wide nylon washer like this. Small washer and a nut. This is the other side of that negative, so nothing goes here. And here's a positive, so we need to put a terminal on it. A washer. 
a nut, a washer, a nut. Okay, now we'll tighten. I'm getting them, you know, reasonably snug. I feel the friction there. And there, we've just assembled the whole thing. I see these are kind of pointing funny. I see how it's aimed wrong. This is just a matter of aesthetics, but you just have to loosen the nut and reorient it. These are pointing in opposite directions. Let me point them the same way. I'll just loosen the nut, flip it over. Retighten, and uh, there we go. So the batteries assemble. This is a so we have a 4P4S. This is the 4P4S battery block. I've alternated the colors so that uh, you can see the configuration. All right, we're going to hook it up to this Tanergy. Uh, watt meter, which is powered by this little battery block over here, and these are the resistors that are providing the load. Everything is hooked up now, and we're drawing 90 some amps from this battery. It's a lot of power, and 650 watts from this little 12 volt battery right here. Let's check the temperatures. And it's showing it. We're at 120 degrees here for the top plate, but we're 145 degrees for the cells. So this is getting quite warm, as well it should, carrying, you know, 77 amps. The resistors, on the other hand, are at 550 degrees. This is way too much load for your batteries to be running at normally, maybe in a short burst. You can see the smoke starting to come off my resistors because they're burning into the table. And we're still burning 66 amps. Yep, you see the smoke coming off them. Alright, time to end this experiment.